everybody, welcome back to Terra Firmacrest Season 5, Episode 32, and you find me preparing. I am preparing for quests of questliness. I don't want you, I want to get you out. That lot can all come out. Uh, we'll pop that little bit of, in fact, we'll grab those and stack them if we can. Hang on, uh, stack. Chuck that little bit of seaweed back in there. Chuck that little bit of cheese in there. That's an 80 and a 35. We'll take that. We'll cut you in half. We are preparing to go on an epic journey of epicness. Um, the epic journey of epicness, of course, being um, a trip... Uh, bomb. What did I just do then? Let me uh, just stack that all back together again. Split it into two. Um... Yeah, being a trip out to get lots and lots and lots of, well, hopefully lots and lots and lots of iron. Um, so we're going to basically stock our bags, our two things here with that. I need a little bit more fruit if I can manage it. Can I grab one of those, trim it down, split it. And then that can go in there, and that can go in there, and that is our travelling food with a little bit of spare. Perfect. Oop. Ah, let me out. So, we need to head out. Last episode we, we managed to make that sticking out the back. We've got some charcoal over there which should have finished, and we need three more bricks to do with that, but that is not what we are worried about today. Um, we need to head out. I'm going to tell you, you to take a spare pick. Because that one ain't going to hack it. Quite literally. Um, we should be fine for timber because there's lots of timber out there. So that's good. We'll uh, very quickly eat. And we shall take that and that and that. And three, uh, we'll take a fourth, just in case, and we shall have a quick snooze. And we're going to head out to uh, one of our Lemonite reserves, or potential Lemonite reserves, where we will hopefully find lots and lots and lots of Lemonite. I also need to go and get my uh, back, my back barrel. I mean, technically, I want to call it a backpack, but, um, you know, oh, hey, nearly forgot. I want you as well. Okay. We should have enough durability in that, and we can always make a, a second, should we need it. We've got the bed. We need to grab my back barrel, and we're off. Oh, and water. And we also, of course, need to decide where we're going to try and dig. Um, let me just grab the back barrel. Back barrel. Back barrel for the win. Bang. It's done it again, hasn't it? That has gone in the water. Yep. Luckily, it doesn't really matter because we're heading off anyway. And. I well, suppose we should just do one last uh, milk of the moo cows. Hello, moo cow. No, you're a bolt. Don't want to milk you. Uh, and off. Right. So, looking at the map. We are here. There is a potential Lemonite just up there. So, I... There's a little bit of me kind of saying, should we try that? Because it is very close to home. Let's just head that direction because if it's not there, then there's one there, one there, and one there, and one possible one there as well. So lots of options. Um, and if we can use the one that's really close to home, then that would obviously be beneficial. I just want to have a peek. Yeah, you've done. Excellent. Uh, oh, bum. Yeah, note to the wise, don't go jumping in a fire pit as well. It's all right when it's out. But, uh, yeah, so we kind of hit ourselves a snag because we, we need iron anyway. We've got the blast furnace, and that's the first thing we're going to need. 
But before we can use the coke oven, the thing we made that needs those three extra bricks, we need some iron anyway, because we need that to make a tink, um, an immersive engineering hammer. Uh, which I really need to watch where I'm going, but there you go. And I'm not even sure whether this is a unpleasant tree or not. Let's have a looks okay. And then over here is where we started finding lemonite mm. traces. I think it's uh, somewhere around here. There you go, Lemonite. So we know it's in this area. Now the downside to this area is that there is somewhere around, I need to get up if I can, let me just. Hup. Not far, right, you've got an altar there, which, and you've got traces of silver there. Ooh, more traces of silver even. Somewhere around over here, there you go. There is the thingy. Now that is a pretty big dungeon underneath there. And there's a danger that we could end up in it. Um, and needless to say, I'm a little teensy weensy bit concerned about that. The other thing, the other problem with this Lemonite here, Lignite, you see, there's a bloody coal in the way. A small sample of Lemonite. Nothing of interest. A small sample of kaolinite. I'm going to put that down because kaolinite is one of the uh, blocks. What is this? Shale. It's one of the um, items we want. There's lemonite over this way. Let's see whether we can find it. Traces of amber. Very large sample of kaolinite. Very large sample of kaolinite. The kaolinite is directly underneath it, I think. A medium sample of lignite, of lemonite, sorry. Traces of lemonite. So, lemonite, I think, has to be over this way. Medium. Very large sample. It's definitely down here. Hmm. Do I just... Right, right now I have nothing. Um, let us very quickly pull together some... I'm just going to sink, that, sink a hole down, I think. So, Lemonite, this is Shale. Let me double check the ore dictionary as well, because that's going to tell us which rock to expect it in. It may not even be in this rock, it may be deeper. So, I'll check that and be back in a sec. All right, well, they're both shale, and they're both near the top, so what we should be able to do is turn that into those and make ourselves a... It's not like that, is it? It's just like that. That's 64 ladders. Um, let me make a couple of sets. And what we'll do is we shall... Take this and we shall pop you there. Unseal you, we'll take that and we shall pop hmm, some of those ladders in there. That works. We'll keep you on our personage and that will become more ladders. Okay, well, let's go and. <laughs> okay. I think we found the Kaolinite somehow. Call me um, old fashioned. The Lemonite must be somewhere around here as well, but it's just, it's a medium sample, so I think it's going to be deeper. However, let me let it be said that I look a gift horse in the mouth. This was what we needed to finish our coke oven, so I might as well grab some of this while we're here as well. I am. The luckiest, in fact, in case I don't get anything better, I'm very lucky, and that is going on my uh, thumbnail, if uh, if we don't get anything better. Right, um, I am going to have to, I think, 
take out this top layer because this is going to be crazy otherwise I suspect I can't believe it was just like hello looking for me it was very strange I don't think I've ever other than when you find it on the surface I don't think I've ever found it that easily but what we'll do is we'll we'll clear a little bit of this well uh, you know what I'm so close to home it would seem Sorry for the uh, bird noise. I still haven't figured out how to get rid of them. Uh, it would seem silly to to leave any resource about, wouldn't it? Um, so what we'll do is I'll grab that. We'll get this done. Pop that in there, and then this will be my uh, Kalanite reserves, which will be dug up and yeah I shall be back in a little while how lucky am I I've only found the lemon I poor but I live you know what I mean it's 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 it's, it's lemonite and it's right here in the kalonite that has got to be the jammiest I think I've ever ever been the Monet achievement get. I don't know where the rest of it is, but it's got to be around here somewhere. So yeah, I think I uh, am officially now one of the jammiest players I've ever known. Um, there we go. We found more Lima. I have to say, it's only poor, but I live for for an initial. Oops, not do that. Don't do that, John. Uh, in fact, we need to bring that down and that down. And yeah, it is very dark down here, so I will uh, stab a torch down. But you can see, oh, hello. <laughs> Definitely see plenty of lemonite. We'll find the rest of that as we go, I'm sure. We know it's over in this corner, so it's no biggie. And... Uh, and as I say, it's poor, so it's it's not the end of the world if I, if it's not really a good vein. You know, if it turns out peters out, then uh, so be it. That will be the uh, the will of the Minecraft gods. But clearly, jammy git, I think, is the phrase that would spring to mind. Let me grab some more of this. I'll be back in a while. Just an update, we're doing really well. <laughs> um, we've got loads, we got like a full thing of Lemonite and we're now on our next thing of Lemonite. So uh, that's good. My best friend, as per usual, in this kind of mining is my chisel. So yeah, never, never underestimate the importance of your chisel. It, uh, it is quite literally the difference between causing a cave-in and not causing a cave-in um, and you can more or less as long as you get your you know working low you can keep on just going like this I've got ladders on me we've got smart moving so we can get this all day and and I am I'm about three days of mining in now I've got more kale and night than I know what to do with so that's a, a good thing and uh yeah we're we're doing pretty good um torches yeah torches are cheap anyway they're only sticks after all not even coal in this which is uh one of the great things with tfc of course is that the the torches are even cheaper than they are in uh standard minecraft the downside is of course is to go out but yeah well uh, we'll live or oh, <laughs> hopefully we will anyway um so yeah i'm keeping on going until i've got a barrel full basically i'm going to i'm definitely not going to exhaust this um we're going to be coming back here i'm going to be marking it on the map as a mine um it doesn't matter that it's poor as i say you know it's it's advan it's got one big advantage right now and that is it's local <laughs> it's right next door to my home so this this is no problem to come out and uh 
and mine again. I uh, am glad I brought my spare pick because I have worn my old pick out. So that was always uh, another useful thing. And uh, yeah, we're, we're 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 booking it at the moment. We're just hammering this stuff out. So uh, I'll keep going and be back in a bit. All right, I've left it. There's still plenty plenty of material in that mine um as i said I'm, I'm not vastly bothered about the limonite as it is poor it's not the best quality but you know it's it's limonite um so it's it would be wrong not to take it we have got plenty of other traces of limonite on the map so you know we can always go in that kind of route and see if we can't find some better quality stuff down the line actually i meant to drop that off so armed with kaolinite graphite and limonite we oops we should in theory be able to oh i've got multiple how many just out of interest, how many spare axes have I got? I've got two spare axes. Okay. <laughs> Just goes to show, if you don't keep your eye on yourself, you may find yourself making all sorts of stuff. Uh, we shall... We'll leave the ice saw here, actually. I don't think we're desperate for any more, but I do need to put the ice away, because I did notice there was some ice in my, uh, in my barrel. And... Yeah, we are... We're, we're sitting pretty at the moment, so let me just go and sort of, uh, out my my storage and my, put my limonite away as well, and uh, I shall be back again in a second. All right, um, sun's going down, but we are going to need charcoal. Um, I've, I've done a bit of maths. I'm going to be using 20 ore. Um in the bloomery which will give me three ingots now if we were using a higher quality ore we could get more out of said bloom bloomery i'm just using uh, stone shovels as well to grab that um but that's fine because i'm uh, my, my main mission this episode is to get the tinker's hammer done if i can I'm not entirely sure. I might need to go and kill some spiders, which is risky, to say the least. There, there are ways, I suppose. There are ways and means of of sorting that one out. But um, what we'll do is we'll get a batch of that going. I'll make the three remaining um, bricks for this, which requires twelve bricks which means two blasts of that so i think the first thing to do is well let me put the eight charcoal in here so that's that's primed and ready what i think i will do because there's a lot of cooking and, and time going on here so i'm going to make the fire clay to get that kiln running while that's running at the same time um and yeah at the same time i'm just going to be you know milking the cows going about my business getting the daily work done um where are you and you there's no reason why i'm tight rope well, i just want to have the fastest turnaround between milking and doing that so yeah i need to start off with the grinding don't i i need to make enough for 12 fire bricks which is let me have a look 12 for 12 36 uh divide that by four is nine lots i think so i need nine lots of kaolinite i believe we'll soon find out um I'll get these ground, I'll be back in a moment. Got my maths completely wrong. Um, but that should make enough. Now we use those to cook those. Those are then used to make 
those and they make two so we'll have one left over so that oh i need logs uh loggy logs get me some logs any old logs will do well not any other. let's go with that one two three four they'll, they'll do the trick so yeah we we're, we're getting closer we are getting closer and we are going to stick those in there we're going to stick all of those in there we are going to take those i'm going to grab 20 lemonite one two three four that's three ingots worth uh, i also need the same amount of charcoal i believe uh, and i just need to double check the operation of this bloomer because it's been a long time since i last did this so i shall be oh, back with you in a moment Yep, it's all right. Uh, I have kind of got this, I think. We're going to pop those in, and those in, and those in. And that, there's enough room for a little tiny bit more, but that would leave us with a uneven amount of um, things. So we're going to light that, we're going to light that. 15 hours from now and uh, eight hours from now they will be done in the meantime i'm just going to go and continue excavating that charcoal and uh, you know doing the odds and odd jobs around the place while we wait for that finish so i'll be back in a second all right well first things first coke bricks in place uh miscellaneous i've got no idea where else to put those um the bloom is done i need to just remember now normally with this what you would do is you'd have to chop it out and you get bloom we got the iron age it's 300 and now the usages for that are to make a refined iron bloom we can heat it in a forge to brilliant white to make an unshaped unknown shaped cool hang on in a crucible it will make that doesn't sound right have you broken this and we use you to make unknown nuggets i think they might have busted iron I think we've got to do that and now the usage for that refined iron bloom is that we can okay so we need to heat it refine it and then we can smelt it that's because we've got to get all of the impurities out of it of course that would make a great deal of sense wouldn't it um right so we're going to have to light you uh we're going to have to pop that in there we're going to have to heat that up, hammer it out to refine it, and again, I shall be back in a moment. Alright, let's get this worked, if we can. Not quite, oh, it's gone too cold. No. Oh. Oh, no, it hasn't. Um, it's broke me hammer. Come on. No. Oh, it's definitely gone cold now. Um, yeah, I definitely need to get a better hammer going at some point. Just kind of playing around with storage ideas in here as well. I think we're going to try and use a mixture of the better storage and stuff like that. But first things first, we find that. The other thing we should do is like this. Because we're going to want to get this right up to temperature, ready to actually process this in the crucible. 
Let's take it up a little bit higher. Um, yeah, so that should come out of there. We should be good going into there. And if I go... Do one, no. Gotcha. Now this, we can smelt. Or can we? No, I don't think we can actually. I think we need to split it. And it's gone cold again. <laughs> I love this game at times. Um, anyway, that's heating. So I will get this up. We'll split it into the three. And then uh, we should get the iron, which we need. Which will be nice. Um, needs to get a little bit hotter yet. Then we should be able to get the coke oven, which will be awesome, because then we can start making charcoal without having to faff around with that massive great pit. Uh, let's try and split it on that. That should be enough, I would hope. And there we go. And that will go in there. And now we need to get that up to white hot. This thing here we can take off and have done with. So, next job. Get this white hot and melt it down. And the other two as well. This is going to take a little bit more effort because obviously we're now dealing with high temperatures. But such is life. Uh, I'm going to have a munch on a steak while we wait. And we've got raw iron, one, two, and three. And that will start pouring. Now I can't remember whether we need to do anything with that or whether at that point we're, we're into the Iron Age. Now I know we can't actually do anything with the... Let's put one of those back, I don't think we'll need all of those. With the iron at this time, um, certainly anvil tool wise, because we need to make an iron anvil, which means I need to use a bronze anvil to weld these, in, and obviously, therefore, I need 14 ingots of this. At three ago, it's not very cost effective. I do think we're going to be better off getting things now. Uses for that will give me wrought iron, which Hang on, which we can use to make on a iron anvil or better we can start making iron tools we can make iron dust uh, it can be used to make the applied energistic stuff yeah that's a long way off I think what I'm after is the bit I want which is the uh, Is the hammer? It'll be in there somewhere. Oh, revolvers. Oh, there we go. Sticks and that. So yeah, we have iron with one spare one. It's not cool enough to put down yet. Let's quickly sleep, then we should be able to activate this thing, and then I'm going to be torn between what I do for a thumbnail because, you know, I, I had a perfect, I had, I had a good thumbnail of me being really, really jammy and lucky, and now, now I'm, you know, very close to having a blast, a coke oven, I should say, not a blast furnace. I know what I mean. Let me have some of that. And we'll pop you back on there. And while I'm at it, I'm going to pop that back in there. That'll do us. Right, let's get on with this thing so we can... 
put this episode to bed and put these um, these two jobs to bed, specifically this one. So have I got any? I haven't. The tight ass spiders. Let's have a look at ham. Oh, Tinker's hammer. String from Minecraft can be made with immersive engineering hem. Wool. String. That's the only place I'm going to get that is from a spider. And we ain't going to. We haven't got a spider anywhere in range right now. By the looks of it, there's an Enderman. There's a Zombat. Uh, I don't really want to have to go and fight a spider either. That's the other consideration. Skeletons. We can get spiders. They're over there. The question is, how do I... Hmm. I'm going to leave that for next episode because I have got ideas. Um, they're not necessarily good ideas. They're potentially quite dangerous ideas. But they are ideas, so yeah, we'll um, we will leave that till next time and see how we go. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now.